Hi and welcome to my channel for those who are new and just found me and welcome back to my uh, subscribers who've been around for a while. Uh, just to do a quick introduction, I am Denitza. I am a homeschooling mama. I homeschool three kids. Uh, they are now going to be in first grade, uh, fourth grade, and high school. So my oldest is going to be starting ninth grade. We do school uh, year round. We do um, school for six weeks and then we take a week off. And so it goes like that um, pretty much for the whole year. Uh, I do give my kids all of June off and then the first week of July. So they get um, a nice break there so they can enjoy uh, some of the summer. Although with this crazy quarantine going on, can't really enjoy the summer too much because <laughs> there's not much to do, not many places to go. Um, we're not fully open out here yet. And even if we were, uh, I don't know. I'm kind of nervous about restaurants and stuff. But anywho, uh, again, welcome to my channel for those who are new and those who know have known me for a while and are my subscribers. Um, so this vlog is going to be a, another unboxing video and I'm going to be unboxing our curriculum for 2020, 2021 for our history. Okay. Uh, this will be some of the history. I have two boxes here. I did open them, but I didn't peek. Um, I just didn't want you guys to see me like struggling with the boxes. Um, because they are taped pretty well. Uh, so the history that we're doing this year is not grass history. Last year, we did do history year two with the good and the beautiful. You guys know I absolutely love the good and the beautiful, but I liked their history um, a lot, but my kids, they weren't too enthused about it. Um, it's a really good roundabout history curriculum. Uh, you're not learning about the same exact thing for an entire year. Uh, it does break off into like sections. Like you'll go like to the ancients and then you will go to uh, like the Native Americans, uh, the pilgrims. So you're going back and forth in history, which is really neat. Um, and they also have some videos or not, well, yeah, recordings, recordings that you can listen to, but my kids find it cringe worthy as they say. Um, and I must admit, uh, as much as I love those recordings, they're super cute. They are kind of cheesy. So if you don't like cheese, <laughs> then maybe it's not for you, but again, it is a very good, very sound, uh, history program. Uh, I didn't find too many things about it that I didn't like. Uh, there was a section that I was kind of like, eh, so I just kind of like, uh, glossed over it. And then I put in my own, um, books and lessons, uh, regarding a certain subject, but I mean, it was good. We, we did enjoy it, but like I said, the kids just kind of thought it was cheesy. So this year I'm trying something different. I am trying not grass history. And this year, this is going to be the first year that I have my littlest one sit in on history class with us. So she's excited. I'm excited. And my fourth grader is excited too, uh, cause she'll have someone to, uh, learn with because my high schooler, she's going to be doing not grass history, but she's going to be starting out with world history. So she's not going to be sitting in on this history with us. Um, but before I get into that, I just want to say something really quick. I just purchased off of Amazon this really cool, like I know my prior videos, I never had a lapel mic before. Um, so I'm still trying to get used to it. <laughs> so if you're like, whoosh, whoosh, or something, I do apologize. Um, I don't edit my videos very much cause I kind of suck at it. <laughs> I'm being honest. So, um, it is what it is. What you get is what you get. Um, 
So this is what I purchased off Amazon and I want to say it was like 25 bucks. So it was pretty reasonable. It's uh, it's a two microphone interview set and the brand is, if you can see that, is solid. Okay, so what it comes with, let me put my coffee down. I'm also an avid coffee drinker. Day and night, I'm on coffee. Um, probably not the most healthy thing, but it's okay. So... <laughs> So, um, let's see here. So what this has is it comes with two of these mics and then it comes with two extension cords and the extension cords are super long. Um, it also comes with the Y connector adapter because since it's two microphones, um, and it says interview, you know, you can interview somebody or do like a side by side, um, like review, curriculum review, whatever you want to do. So I just have to say this thing works really good. I did my last vlog of the good and the beautiful um, using this and I absolutely loved it. I felt like I didn't have to talk loud in order to be heard. Um, it picks up everything very, very nicely. So if you're uh, looking and wanting to look into something like this, um, I highly recommend this brand and it's really nice. It even comes with like this nice little velvet uh, carrying case and it's by Solid. I'll go ahead and link the description below. Um, and no, I'm not getting like any monetary value or any kickbacks for promotion. I just found this really cool. So anyway, other than that, let's go ahead and um, get with the unboxing. Um, but before I do the actual history unboxing, I also wanted to introduce you guys to something else that we're going to be doing. We do, um, morning, uh, meetings. And what it, that is, is we talk about the day. I think I've explained this in prior videos. We talk about what's going to be going on in the day. And then we do have read alouds that we read aloud together as a group. And my high schooler will be joining us. Um, for this and I purchased a set of really cool books are supposed to be good um, it's called the Tuttle Twins and I have the books and you can download like the worksheets or workbooks online um, I believe it's for free um, these books were kind of pricey um, not gonna lie but I had, I heard excellent reviews. It's about like, uh, some of them is about the government, um, the fate of the future, education, uh, vacation. So it's a whole bunch of different books here that we're going to be reading. Um, we'll probably be finishing it like one book, probably, I would say every two we probably finished one book like within two weeks um, and then we'll follow up with the um, worksheets like this one here it's the Tuttle Twins and the Golden Rule um, this one is about what do most religions and cultures agree on people throughout the world strongly disagree on many things yet there's one universal principle the Golden Rule or a Golden Rule as it's often called upon which many people do agree that we should treat others the way that we want them to treat us, right? Everybody wants that. Um, so this, in this particular book, I guess they're twins, Ethan and Emily Tuttle, they're gonna embark on their very first summer camp adventure uh, where they learn this lesson firsthand. So they're gonna be competing teams turn into fighting rivals, but Chief Ron and his camp counselors help the twins and their teammates learn the dangers of aggression, revenge, blowback, and why peace and friendship are important. And honestly, I think this one will be very good, um, especially with what's happening and going on today. I think it's very important. Um, so I will be going, into, uh, we will be doing this every morning. Um, like I said, we'll probably finish um, well, if we do it every morning for a week, we'll probably actually finish each book in a week, but I'm going to try to extend it out a little bit. Um, but it has some really nice like illustrations. 
The other books that come in this set, and apparently they also have um, Tuttle Twin books when they're little. So I'm going to go find those and purchase those as well because that's a whole different set of adventures that they go on. So this one is The Miraculous Pencil. So this is going to be talking about the free market um, and how the free market works. Fate of the future. So should we coerce others to get what we want? And then let's see here. Education, vacation. And I hope you guys are able to see this okay. Um, is school the best way to get an education? Um, so this one sounds like um, they're probably doing like maybe, I don't know because I haven't read it yet. Uh, like public school maybe versus homeschool is institutionalized school the best or um, like free education good you know homeschooling where you have your freedom to learn what you want um, even though you do follow some sort of standards well we do, we do because eh? otherwise without those standards I wouldn't know where exactly to teach um, or what exactly to teach certain in certain uh, subjects. Um, this one is show business. So how does a child become an entrepreneur? So this one will be very interesting to read. So this is talking about entrepreneurship. Creature from Jekyll Island. So what kind of creature can steal from you? So I guess this is going to be talking about um, theft and it introduces the kids to history, the nature of money, banking, inflation, savings, bartering. So actually this may be work good for um, my high schooler too. Uh, so she's definitely gonna be sitting in with us on these books because this would be a good book for um, econ. The Food Truck Fiasco. And this one is about the oldest economic battle is repeating itself. Um, so economics in one lesson. So this book is going to help um, readers learn about business, regulations, economics, protectionism, com competition, and other basic market um, principles. And also uh, how government uh, works in the economy and if something isn't going good how you can go about and try to change it surf the road to serfdom this is a tale of unintended consequences consequences <laughs> um, unfold so it's about um, examples of the government officials making decisions well-intentioned or otherwise that may or may not harm other harm others. Um, ultimately, these unintended consequences are never anticipated and rarely considered once they occur. So the Tuttle twins find in their latest adventure, central planning can ruin people's lives. So it's just a lot of like history and economics and learning about the world. And this is um, the search for Atlas. So what happens when hardworking people quit? So in a world full uh, filled with consumers, what happens if the producers give up and leave? And how can people better practice personal responsibility, which is very good to, to learn and know, and not have a sense of entitlement, I like that, about the things that they think they deserve. So this one is going to be very good, especially uh, what I feel like in today's generation um, and even a bit of my generation. So that is that. So these books is are what we're going to be using for our morning uh, meeting. And we do have um, worksheets that I can download to um, go with this. So that is that. And then it's a little flyer here. Um, there's like, a, I guess a video. Um, age appropriate activities, learn as a family. So freemarkettuttletwins.com.
Okay. I will also post the link below for this curriculum um, or the books in case you are interested in it. So, okay, now we're going to go ahead and get with the unboxing. I love unboxing. It's like so much like my Christmas. So let's get to it. I have been waiting for these boxes. Let's see here. Let's open this big old ugh, box and it's very, very heavy. Ugh, don't want to give myself a hernia or something. So let's see. Let's see. You go over there. Okay, so what we have in this big old box here is um, Exploring World History Curriculum Package, Exploring World History Student Review Pack, and that is going to be for my oldest daughter, the one that's gonna be going into um, high school. I'll go ahead and I'll link everything in the comments below of what I'm using so you can check it out. Um, the curriculum is a bit pricey, um, but I heard it's really, really good. Um, and there's also read alouds that come or that you get with the curriculum that you need to purchase with the curriculum, or you can get it from the library. Um, I went ahead and I purchased it because right now, who knows how long our libraries are going to be closed because here in California, um, Southern California, everything is like that is still closed. How are your libraries closed? Like where you are? Is there anything open? Are you guys opening up? Um, so I went ahead and I purchased the books, the reading books for this, because I did read that you would need to have the books for it. So, um, it looks like that is coming in a separate box because I ordered that at a different time. So once I get that, I'm, I'll, <laughs> excuse me, I'll go ahead and I'll make like a part two of this video. Let's see. So it says, ready for a good taste of history? You'll be glad to know the words in these books don't taste like grass. These books are not grass, not grass history. So it's pretty cool. It tells you back here. Getting started with not grass history is easy. And before I continue, I not grass history, it is a Christian curriculum. So I don't know, but I don't know how in depth they go into like religion, um, how much they talk about the Lord. So you may want to check it out yourself before purchasing. Um, we're Christian and I like to purchase a lot of Christian materials. Um, so it tells you getting started with not grass history is easy. First step, read the introduction, how to use section, how to use section in part one. Sorry, my contacts are a little blurry right now because it's after midnight and I've been ha in these things all day. Uh, step two, visit notgrass.com quick start where you can watch a video explaining in detail how to use these books. So that's pretty cool. And then after that, you're going to Go ahead and obviously begin with lesson one. So that's really nice. Go ahead and put this paper there. It looks like there's uh, something called homeschool history. I've heard about this and I believe it's like their own videos that they make. Um, to help go along with the lessons and it looks like it's something that you join so it's probably like a monthly fee i'm going to go ahead and check it out and um i may just go ahead and join it um only because if it goes you know cohesively with the um curriculum i think it's a good idea but it says homeschool history is a membership site for parents who are looking for books videos audio resources and field trip ideas, that's always good. Uh, that will enhance their homeschool experience. Search by topic, type of resource and location. Connect with parents or other parents to share ideas, whatever curriculum you are using. Homeschool history will help your children live history even more. So, okay, cool. So it's homeschoolhistory.com and it looks like it will go with whatever history you're um, teaching. So that's really good. 
And then I guess this is the lady that made the curriculum. So world history exploring. Ooh, this is heavy. Holy cow. Oh, wow. Ooh, no wonder why it's heavy. Look at these books. <laughs> they are, there's three of them and they're, um, two of them are hardbound. And I, oh no, all three of them are hardbound. Let's see. This is my high schoolers, uh, world history that we're going to start with this year because we already did some, um, United States history last year together. Like I said, with the good and the beautiful. So I figure let's go ahead and get the world history done. So that way we can move on to other aspects of history, uh, next year. Cause obviously this is going to take an entire year to go through. <laughs> so it has, uh, excuse me, sorry, it's heavy. So it has book one, exploring world history. And this is going to be creation through the middle ages. Hmm. Okay. So this is, yep. So this is a one year course and it's going to help students understand history from the perspective of faith in God and respect for his word. In addition to reading the history narrative about events, issues, and people from around the world and across the centuries, students read the words of people who made history in original documents speeches, poems, and stories. They also read classic literature, which is why I was telling you there are literature books that go with it, uh, that help bring to life the time periods they are studying. A variety of writing assignments and hands-on project ideas help students engage in what they are learning. Um, so I'm not going to go through like a big detailed um, flip through because I don't want the video to be like forever long. If you want um, a more detailed video with like a lot of flip throughs, uh, go ahead and comment below, um, and let me know. Okay. But well, wow. okay. Let me just go ahead and open this because this is really nice. Like the, the illustrations, I almost said animations, the illustrations. Like I said, I don't edit my videos very much. So sometimes you will hear mistakes and I do apologize for that, but I am trying to learn how to do my Adobe, uh, uh, video creator so I can get better at it. So it looks like, yeah, so this is all early middle ages, late middle ages, um, the crusades, Israel becomes a nation, ancient Asia and beyond. Um, some of this we did touch in the good and the beautiful, but you know how history always builds upon itself as you get higher up in the grades. So it may be review on some stuff, but also it'll be more in depth in others. So it tells you here how to use, if you can see it, I hope you can, how to use the curriculum. So the goals, how it works, there's 150 lessons um, divided into 30 units of five lessons each. There's going to be review, uh, tips on memorization, unit projects, lesson illustrations, uh, why we present, how we present scripture. Um, advice on writing. Oh, so it has a little bit of writing in here, um, as well. Writing a research paper. So that's really good. That's nice. Oh, and it has a four week schedule, which is perfect because when we did the good and the beautiful, we did, um, history Monday through Thursday and Friday, we didn't do history at all. Like if maybe we did, like if we had to finish up a read aloud or a project or something, that's when we would do history on Friday. But generally I try to leave our Fridays open, um, for fun days or for catch up days. So let me show you a sample of the four week ooh, schedule. So hopefully you can see that. So day one, investigate possible topics. Day two, choose a topic with and write a purpose sentence, uh, research sources, make preliminary outline, learn how to give credit. So citations, um, citing your work work on a draft, final draft. So that's pretty neat.
Let's see. I'm trying to see. Okay, so here, for example, assignments for lesson eight. So it has you um, read um, a few verses from the Bible, and it has you working on memorizing one passage from the Bible. Um, and then it has, in their words, read excerpt from Antiquities of the Jews project. So I guess they're going to be working on a project almost right away. And student review. So you're going to answer questions for lesson eight. So just an example. And then let's see, Hammurabi and his code of laws. We did learn about that um, a few actually a few history curriculums back which was story of the world my kids didn't like story of the world they thought it was really boring um and i actually found a few um inaccuracies in that curriculum it's a good curriculum don't get me wrong if you use it but um yeah i found a few things that were like no that's not right <laughs> So like here, when we're in everyday life, the story of Ruth, um, so it's about Israel. So the literature book, it's the Cat of Babasti. So that's the book that we're going to be reading with whatever unit this covers. So that's that. That's book one. And then book two is the Renaissance to the present. And then exploring world history part two, the Renaissance to the present. So it looks like from here, we're gonna be going The Renaissance, the Age of Reformation, the Age of Exploration. So we're going to be learning again about Christopher Columbus, everyday life um, of probably like colonists and such. Um, the Scientific Revolution, the Age of Revolution, the making of modern Europe, Britain, industry and empire, a revolution in thought. So it's going to be talking about Marxism, uh, Darwinism, Freud, uh, Bible study, the world at war. So it's going to be talking about the Great War, World War II. The key person that they're going to be, or she is going to be reading about is going to, for this section is going to be Winston Churchill. And then everyday life will be the cultural history of Japan. And then after that, we move into the Cold War. So freedom versus communism. Key event there will be the space race. Uh, which my daughter is going to love because she absolutely adores anything NASA in space. A uh, key person to study, Ronald Reagan, obviously, because he was president during the Cold War and during the space race, Star Wars. Uh, and then everyday life in the U.S. and the USSR. Uh, and then a Bible study. And then we're going to the making of modern Asia. So from dynasties to communism, India, a clash of cultures, Japan, Korea, and Southeast Asia, Christian missionaries to Asia. And then from there, the making of modern Latin America. So Mexico story. Um, key person is Simon Bolivar. And that's interesting. Our family has the last name Bolivar. I wonder if there is a relation um, on my husband's side. Never know. Um, and then everyday life, we're going to be studying about indig indigenous peoples of Latin America. And then making of modern Africa, so European colonization, Ethiopia, everyday life, the culture of the Maasai, Maasai South Africa, and then Bible study Africa in the Bible. And then we're going to jump into the 21st century. Sorry, I heard something outside. <laughs> so it'll be technology and trade, the making of the modern Middle East, key persons that we're going to be learning about, oh, the homeschooling family, that's pretty cool, uh, everyday life, a history of keeping time, Bible study is modern church history, and then looking backward, looking forward, 
How Christianity Changed the World, Lessons from World History, Living in the Modern World, Becoming a World Christian, Bible Study is Eternity After This World. So the illustrations are really nice. I like it. So I'm excited. I'm really, really excited about this curriculum. It sounds really nice. And it, the, the way the curriculum is set up is just nice. It's not just a whole bunch of words smushed together. It, everything is like head, head, headlined nicely um, and sectioned. Sorry, but these books are just really, really heavy. And then in their words. So this is the original documents, speeches, poems, and stories from world history, which is awesome. So from the ancient code of Hammurabi to modern Chinese hymns, the collection of original sources brings the story of our world to life. Meet over 100 individuals from around the globe who lived over the course of a thousand years as you read their experiences and convictions. So explore history through the words of an Arabian princess, a Japanese lady in waiting, a Spanish sea captain, and many others. The selections in this volume introduce you to significant people and ideas that have shaped our world. So let's see, let's just open up to a page. The Dawn of Sprinkling in the East. So Ambrose of Milan. Uh, that's a poem. The Hippocratic Oath, which is very good. Um, what the doctors uh, have to learn. Uh, let's see. Hippocratic Oath. So this is really, really nice. Giuseppe Gabaldi's in this. Edmund uh, Burke. So lots of key players in history. So that is that for um, world history, I think. Hmm. I'm wondering if there's something that I'm missing that I didn't order. Uh, like maybe a workbook? Uh, let's see. Student review pack. I know I bought it. I remember purchasing it. Um, oh, <laughs> it's there. Okay. I was like, there's something. I'm like, I know there is something missing. Something doesn't feel right. So, okay. Uh -huh. So, um, student review pack, exploring world history and student review. So let's take an Take a look at this. Sorry, I didn't want to make this video like forever, but ouch. And like I said, if you want a detailed flip through, more than happy to do it on another video. Just oof, let me know. Okay, so we have, uh, so it, the package includes three books. It includes the student review, quiz and exam book, and the answer key. So that's what I was looking for. That's what I was kind of like, oh my gosh, I can't find it. Kind of stressing about. So let's see. So here's the student review book. And it is a cool, a bunch of questions on what was the Roman Empire built. Um, what did Jesus mean when he said that his kingdom is not of this world? So it has um, the 12 tables of law. So it has um, questions about what they've read. And also, which is nice, questions about the literature. And I know that because one of the books that I purchased for this curriculum is called The Art of War. So we're going to be re reading... Um, literature as well. I, we really like uh, to put a lot of literature and in reading into our courses. It just enhances it more, I think. Um, so questions for the art of war, 
and then it has knowledge, strategy, leadership. So it goes into a lot more depth. So that, ooh. I'm so sorry. <laughs> so that's that. And then here is the quiz and exam book. Hopefully you guys can still see me okay because I just about dropped my entire phone and um, tripod because I'm not used to having this, but I absolutely love it. So here we go. So here's quizzes, unit six quiz. Okay, and then it has the good old answer key because I know I can't memorize everything and to make sure it's correct or not. So, yep, yeah, there we go. So it looks like the only thing I'm waiting on, unless it's in that smaller box, is the literature. And you know what? Let me check that smaller box. No, this is for my fourth grader and my first grader. Okay, so I'm still apparently waiting on the literature books for the ninth grade history and I will do a follow up video on that. So, okay, so that was that. Now let's get into the other part out of the history. And this is gonna be for my, um, fourth my now fourth grader and then my now first grader so sad I can't believe she's already gonna be my youngest is already gonna be six at the end of June the end of this month it's so sad I don't know where the time went it just it flies by it seems like the more kids you have feels like the either the less time you have or just the faster it goes because you're so busy with so many things. Um, what about you? Do you ever feel that, that way? Um, how do you handle it? I, it kind of makes me sad um, because I want my babies to stay my babies forever. <laughs> uh, especially because it was always really, really hard for me um, to get pregnant because I have issues. Um, I have issues. So, yeah, so it, it's sad. Um, I couldn't have any more kids after my littlest. So, um, anyway, so our Star Spangled Story. So my now first grader and fourth grader are going to do this one together. Um, the curriculum package includes, uh, well, I purchased the book separately because it was really expensive to like buy all of this stuff all at once. So I had to kind of space it out because, um, we are technically one full income. Like I have my tax business, um, but you know, taxes are January through, well, normally through April, but you know, this year's a little crazy. And then a little bit of business in October. And then the rest of the time is just, um, you know, like time for me to learn, to do my review courses, for me to get my certificates and I'm studying to become an, an, enroll, an enrolled agent so that way um, I can do even more practice for my clients in front of the IRS. So I'm really excited and nervous about that. Um, and I also just uh, learned how to do IRS tax resolution. So I'm actually adding that to my business this year. Um, and then in addition to that, to try to just help out. Um, like during my downtime, uh, I do Instacart. So I'm a personal shopper for Instacart. I do that um, just like maybe for like two, three hours during the day. And then at night I do DoorDash. And it's fun. Um, I like to do it just for a little extra. Uh, so anyway, so our start Star Spangled Story. That is what my two youngest ones are going to be doing together. So I have um, one textbook for them to share 
but I did purchase them their own individual workbooks. So the pack that I purchased has um, our Star Spangled Story Part 1 and 2, Rhythm and Rhyme. I heard this curriculum um, for the younger kids is a lot of fun. Um, student Workbook, Timeline, and our Star Spangled Story answer key and literature guide so once i get those well i have the books actually so let's take a look see shall we so this is part one so this is really nicely made just like the world history nice and and heavy it's like a classroom textbook so journey into these pages and experience real life american history Learn the story of America as you learn about everyday people and the lives they lived. Hear their poems and songs. Learn their dances and games. See pictures of them and their treasures. And meet famous and not so famous Americans who helped shape our country and created our Star Spangled Story. So that's another reason why I picked this because they have a lot of fun stuff, like a lot of... Um, Learning how to dance, like, you know, old dances and different culture dances, um, games, um, learning their songs, all that good stuff. And this is just like the other one. It's Christian curriculum. Um, as I'm kind of glancing through it, it does look like they mentioned God a lot. So if that's not for you, then... You may want to do a different curriculum, um, but here, so I opened up, it looks like they have unit projects just like in the older grades. So this one, they're, they're going to be doing a Pueblo, Pueblonian pottery. So this is what they're going to do. It looks really cool. So they're going to actually make pottery. So that's why I purchased this curriculum because it is just it sounded amazing and I fell in love with it when I saw when I was reading about it and re researching about it on the internet. And I read all the reviews because I am a person that researches, researches, and researches um, until I finally feel comfortable enough to purchase something. So it has lesson activities, review questions, unit review, hands-on history ideas. So I don't know what this one is about. but it has some nice illustrations. But um, it says hands-on history ideas. Pretend that you're teaching someone how to read. You might wanna use chalk and a chalkboard or pencil and paper, and you might use books to teach you letters and words. Use building blocks to build a building similar to the Boston buildings that you see on page 84. Hmm. Which is like this. So I think they, they're gonna have a lot of fun with this. And then, yay, George Washington. So that is unit one, or I should say book one. And look at the beautiful artwork. It's just really pretty. So unit one, or the part one, is going to go over, um, like it tells you how to use the Star Spangled Story. And then um, it's going to become uh, unit one is going to be about the first people uh, come to America at home in the Acoma Pueblo, Columbus, Cabo and Cor Coronado in America. Unit two, the Brewster family at Plymouth. So we did learn about this in year two of the good and the beautiful, but this is just going to build on it and refresh their their memories um, about everything that we learned. Um, indentured servant. They're going to be we're learning about that. Um, John Elliott, missionary to the praying Indians. And then Conrad Weiser, German peacemaker, serving others in the Georgia colony, natives, traders, and beavers in New France. Unit four will be uh, the Boston Tea Party. Uh, lesson 11, give me liberty or give me death. And then Phyllis Wheatley and her poetic genius 
Sorry, I stopped for a minute because I thought there was an earthquake. We've been having earthquakes here lately. Um, and then unit six is going to be talking about, or unit five is going to be talking about um, Paul Revere, the de uh, the colonies declare independence, John Madison, the Constitution, which is perfect because we also, uh, or I, I bought um, Bookshark, their um, election kit for this year, since it's an election year. Um, I'm going to be teaching them probably in mm, October, I would say October, all about the elections um, and the branches of government and stuff. And they're going to go ahead and do that um, together. Just my two oldest ones. The War of 1812, America's First School for the Death. Deaf. So the Erie Canal, so it literally goes over so many different things. Like some of this, I don't, even though it was like 5 million years ago, um, a lot of it I don't remember learning in school. So this in public school. And so this is really cool. So that'll be nice. So that's part one. And then this is their timeline. So apparently this colorful timeline helps students see the sweep and chronology of American history. The timeline showcases and reviews key events and people. Students will enjoy the abundance of photos, illustration, and fine art. So let's open it up really quickly. And yeah, definitely a timeline. Very nice. These books are really, really nice books. They remind me of like the Oosborn or Usborn or whatever, however you say it, books. So they're really, really nice. Really well made, it seems. Okay, and then this one is a Star Spangled Rhymes and Rhythm. So here you'll bring the life, you'll bring past to life as you travel through time. And here, America's um, favorite songs and poems. Try the dances that people have enjoyed for generations. The famous and the ordinary people who shaped America will become real as you share their hopes, dreams, losses, and victories through their rhythms and rhymes. So it also has an MP3 uh, CD included. So it has like an Iroquois um, Indian family song the text T, um, and then, oh, and then they have a dance, track six. So it teaches them how to dance to Hole in the Wall. So it has all the dance steps there. So that's another reason why I purchased this because it just seemed so fun. Uh, let's see, Skip to Malu, which is a folk song and dance. So, yeah, I think they're going to have a lot of fun. Now, here is our Star Spangled Story um, Part 2. Okay. And this one, it looks like it's going to be pretty much all modern times. Um, beautiful pictures. Absolutely beautiful. So... This one picks up where the other one leaves off. So unit 16 is going to be the first telephone. Helen Keller, uh, immigrants yearning to breathe free. Booker T. Washington and the power of learning. Secretary John Hay. Um, Theodore Roosevelt, brothers of the bicycle shop. Lewis Hine and the power of a picture. Uh, and then Unit 19, Jim Thorpe, the Olympic champion. Send to the world. The Yanks are coming. Um, let's see. Lesson or Unit 20, Anne Fuchs is aboard the orphan train. Um, America's New Wheels, growing up in a coal camp. Lesson 21 is about Herbert Hoover, Franklin Dean Roosevelt, um, and Okies bound for California. Unit 22, Fighting for the Freedom in World War II, Americans fam American fam Families on the Home Front, Prayers and Parades for Victory and Peace. Unit 23, With Love to Europe and America, the Medal of Honor for Vernon J. Baker. Um, unit 24, The Adventures of Ozzie and Harriet. 
I think that's like a TV show from like way back in the day. I don't know. I could be wrong. Um, I like, I like Ike. You like Ike walking to school with Ruby Bridges, uh, unit 25, Godspeed, John Glenn. Please don't flood the Grand Canyon. One giant leap for mankind. So cool. We're going to be getting into space exploration there. Unit 26, letters to Vietnam. A president resigns and happy 200th birthday, America. Unit 27, the cowgirl on the Supreme Court. Tear down this wall, uh, bringing computers home. Tear down this wall. I'm thinking that'll be... The Berlin Wall, maybe. Uh, and then Unit 28, Heroes in the Desert, Made in China, Before and After the Internet. Uh, and then, oh, listen, I like this. Unit 29, it teaches about September 11th, which is very, very important. Um, the Great Big Tiny Wireless World and Finding a New Home in America. And then finally, lesson or Unit 30, Learning how to work together, freedom to homeschool, and you are making history. And so here's the first page of unit 16. So this is going to be a lot of fun. And I just happened to open up to this one, lesson activities. They have lesson activities, review questions, and hands-on history ideas. So we're definitely going to be doing the hands-on history ideas. So pretend that you work in the White House. What is your job? Who is serving as president? And who will visit the White House? And then using building blocks, try to um, build the White House. Now, I may look on Amazon and see how much um, a Lego set is of the White House so they can go ahead and build that together. If you know of how much it will be or a better place to get them, can you comment below and let me know? I would be so grateful. Um, this is our Star Spangled Story. Okay, so it's the answer key and literature guide. So it has review questions, review questions, uh, student workbook lessons, all in here. Okay, and then these, this is, both of the workbooks are the same, so I'll just show you the first one, or the one that's already open. This is my Star Spangled workbook, okay? So lesson one, it looks like they're gonna be coloring the map of the 13 colonies. And then unit three review, draw a line from the person, the personal introduction to the job or position person that the person, the position that the person is remembered for. Lesson 10, add your own design to this teacup. So I am going to assume that lesson 10 will be referring to maybe the Boston Tea Party, since you're going to design your own teacup. Uh, lesson 14, reading the Declaration of Independence from a newspaper, write three or four questions American con colonists might have had after first hearing the Declaration of Independence. So that's something my fourth grader can do, um, but I would have my first grader because she's obviously still learning how to write um, and spell and all that good stuff. It says, draw a man reading the Declaration of Independence from a newspaper. He might be in his home, outside in a small village, or a large city. And then they would just use that. So lots of activities to bring learning home, which I absolutely love. So let's move on really quickly to literature. That is for um, our Star Spangled History, not the world history. So these are the books that we're going to be reading. They're not too big. Uh, too long of chapter books, which is good. So this one is Benjamin West and his, and his cat Grimalkin. Okay. Uh, so this book is probably about 150 pages. So that's cool. So there's that book. We're also going to be reading Tolliver's Secret. Secret. The country was counting on her. So it's really good literature. Um, this is a yearling or uh, a random house book. This one is um, Aladdin. Let's see. Yeah, Aladdin. 
And then this one, um, I was excited to see a Beverly Cleary um, book to do uh, or to read with my kids because I used to love Beverly Cleary. This one is Emily's Runaway Imagination. And then we have a book called Mountain Born. The Year of Miss Agnes. So I'm assuming this is going to be about um, maybe the school or homeschool. I don't know. Um, Freedom Crossing by Apple Paperbacks. And I used to love reading Apple books when I was a kid. So this is also exciting. Scholastic. Um, and actually, I used to like reading uh, Margaret uh, Clark books. So that is cool. And then this one is by Laura Ingalls Wilder um, called Farmer Boy. So, and this is from like the, the Little House uh, series. So these are all of the books that will go with the Star Spangled history. So I'm excited to get this um, going for the kids. I'm gonna probably actually start lesson planning in a few weeks. Uh, when do you guys lesson plan? Uh, do you do it like the whole year, um, all up at first? At first, do you do it by uh, semester? Like, do you plan out the whole semester? Do you do it a week at a time, a month at a time? I used to do it an entire year. Yeah, an entire school year. <laughs> I used to have that completely planned out. Never again, because doctor appointments, emergencies, what have you, it never works out. So what I've learned, and then I, what I've learned to do because I did the, I used to do the whole school year in advance and then I would do like maybe the semester in advance and that still didn't quite work. Um, so now I do an entire month. So I plan for an entire month and I find that works absolutely perfect for us. Like I don't have time to do weekly lesson plans. So I find if I do an entire month, that's perfect and it's very easy to stick with and I already have um I have already figured out all of our days off that we're gonna have like any little vacation days um that we're gonna have and so the minimum in my state for school is 180 days so we will school definitely for uh more than that we'll because on our schedule we school for uh I think I don't have it written down in front of me, but I believe we school for 250 days or 255 days. And then um, we have the rest of the time for like um, vacation or days off. So again, our schedule is we do school for six weeks, take a week off, do school for six weeks, take a week off. And then of course, if something comes up, then we'll put that into the calendar as well. But I try not to plan anything once my entire month is set, because that will, as you know, if you're a veteran homeschool mom, um, it throws everything off. Um, so that is my curriculum unboxing. I hope it wasn't too terribly long for you guys to watch. Um, if you want me to do, um, like I said before, any more detailed flip throughs, I can definitely do that for you. Um, if there's content you want me to go over, if there's content you want me to talk about, subjects you want me to talk about, definitely um, feel free to comment um, in the comments below. Please subscribe to my channel. It helps tremendously. Get my name out there. Go feel free to forward my um, YouTube channel. Um, go ahead and subscribe, smash that little bell button so that way you can always get notifications when I either go live or when I post a new vlog. You can also follow me on Instagram and you can also follow me on Facebook. Same exact handle, homeschool mama Denitza Rave. So again, thank you so much for hanging in there with me. Um, comment down below. I will go ahead and also link everything that I've talked about um, in the video in the comments for you, okay? So I hope you found this enjoyable and I hope you found this helpful. I'll talk to you soon.
Cheers.